Third Floor, directed by Travis Stevens, starring C.M. Punk, Tristy Kelly Dunn, and Sarah Brooks. Don Koch tries to renovate a rundown house with a sordid history for his growing family, only to learn that the house has other plans. I am always intrigued by stories that have a main character who is someone that isn't necessarily a good person. And with the character of Don Koch, played by CM Punk, that's exactly who we are following. This guy has a sordid past when it comes to the work that he was doing prior to fixing up this house for he, his wife, and their baby that's on the way. He's not necessarily a very good husband. We're following him as he's fixing up this house that has a sordid history. And that history is basically that this house used to be a brothel. And some things have happened in this house that have made an imprint on it. This film is essentially a haunted house story, but there's a bit of a spin to it. The house is absolutely a living being. There is something that's within the walls. And it also has this type of psychosexual aspect to it. When Dawn is drilling through the walls, you'll hear female moans, or when he's hammering through it, the same type of moans happen. He's also being enticed by this young woman who comes around the house, and he's not doing a very good job of fighting his urges. And his wife isn't yet at the house yet, she's at their old home, and he's the only one that's renovating it because he says that he wants to be the man that builds her her castle. And over time, as he's renovating this house, he starts to become more and more unhinged. I overall really enjoyed this movie. For a single location film where it all takes place inside of this house, it's pretty well done. And I did appreciate the practical effects. There is this uneasy feeling from the get-go. There's something off about the house, and there's something off about our main character, Dawn. I feel like CM Punk did a pretty good job, considering that from what I've seen on IMDB, this is his first acting role. He's not bad in this. I actually thought he was pretty good and I'm interested to see him in more roles. I also felt that the supporting cast was good as well, but this is pretty much CM Punk leading the entire film, and it's all about him giving that performance of a guy who's pretty much out of his depth trying to renovate this house for his wife who's supporting him. I felt that the pacing was pretty well done. It moved along pretty well. We get right into the happenings inside the house and it's unsettling a lot of the times. I liked the practical effects, the violence and the gore, although it's not a constant aspect of the film. When it does happen, it's effective. There is a scene with a marble and a box cutter that is really cringe-inducing, and it was hard for me to watch, and it was pretty damn well done and effective. I will say, however, that the one aspect that I felt like was lacking was the ending. The last two to three minutes felt tacked on, and that it was made to give this false sense of resolution and then have some kind of a twist. I didn't think that it needed that at all. It actually kind of ruined it for me, and the ending wasn't earned. Up until that point, I was on board and I thought that this was a really well done indie film. But those last two to three minutes, I felt didn't work. Take that out and I feel like you have a much more solid film. I really like the soundtrack. I thought that the cinematography was well done. Overall, I'm going to give Girl on the Third Floor a high-end weekend rental. If it wasn't for the ending of the film, this could be a film that I could see myself adding to my collection. But that ending, I felt it didn't stick the landing for me, and it felt tacked on. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for coming by, and I'll see you guys next time.